In quantum computing, quantum finite automata QFA or quantum state machines are a quantum analog of probabilistic automata or a Markov decision process. They are related to quantum computers in a similar fashion as finite automata are related to Turing machines. Several types of automata may be defined, including measure once and measure many automata. Quantum finite automata can also be understood as the quantization of subshifts of finite type, or as a quantization of Markov chains. QFAs are, in turn, special cases of geometric finite automata or topological finite automata. The automata work by accepting a finite length string sigma equals sigma 0 sigma 1 sigma k Display style sigma equals sigma underscore zero sigma underscore one c d o t s sigma underscore k of letters sigma i display style sigma underscore i from a finite alphabet sigma display style sigma and assigning to each such string a probability p r sigma Display style operator name PR sigma, indicating the probability of the automaton being in an accept state. That is, indicating whether the automaton accepted or rejected the string. The languages accepted by QFAs are not the regular languages of deterministic finite automata, nor are they the stochastic languages of probabilistic finite automata. Study of these quantum languages remains an active area of research. Topic. Informal description There is a simple, intuitive way of understanding quantum finite automata. One begins with a graph-theoretic interpretation of deterministic finite automata DFA. A DFA can be represented as a directed graph, with states as nodes in the graph, and arrows representing state transitions. Each arrow is labeled with a possible input symbol, so that, given a specific state and an input symbol, the arrow points at the next state. One way of representing such a graph is by means of a set of adjacency matrices, with one matrix for each input symbol. In this case, the list of possible DFA states is written as a column vector. For a given input symbol, the adjacency matrix indicates how any given state row in the state vector will transition to the next state. A state transition is given by matrix multiplication. One needs a distinct adjacency matrix for each possible input symbol, since each input symbol can result in a different transition. The entries in the adjacency matrix must be zeros and ones. For any given column in the matrix, only one entry can be non-zero, this is the entry that indicates the next unique state transition. Similarly, the state of the system is a column vector, in which only one entry is non-zero, this entry corresponds to the current state of the system. Let sigma, sigma denote the set of input symbols. For a given input symbol, alpha element of sigma Display style alpha in sigma. Write u alpha. Display style u underscore alpha as the adjacency matrix that describes the evolution of the DFA to its next state. The set u alpha alpha element of sigma. Display style u underscore alpha alpha in sigma then completely describes the state transition function of the DFA. Let Q represent the set of possible states of the DFA. If there are n states in Q, then each matrix U alpha display style U underscore alpha is n by n dimensional. The initial state Q zero element of Q Display style q underscore zero in q corresponds to a column vector with a one in the q zero th row. A general state q is then a column vector with a one in the qth row. By abuse of notation, let q zero and q also denote these two vectors. Then, after reading input symbols, alpha, beta, gamma, display style alpha, beta, gamma, c d o t s. From the input tape, the state of the DFA will be given by Q 
equals u gamma u beta u alpha q 0 display style q equals c d o t s u underscore gamma u underscore beta u underscore alpha q underscore 0 the state transitions are given by ordinary matrix multiplication that is multiply q 0 by u alpha display style u underscore alpha etc the order of application is reversed only because we follow the standard notation of linear algebra the above description of a DFA, in terms of linear operators and vectors, almost begs for generalization, by replacing the state vector Q by some general vector, and the matrices U alpha by some general operators. This is essentially what a QFA does, it replaces Q by a probability amplitude, and the U alpha display style u underscore alpha by unitary matrices other similar generalizations also become obvious the vector q can be some distribution on a manifold the set of transition matrices become automorphisms of the manifold this defines a topological finite automaton similarly the matrices could be taken as automorphisms of a homogeneous space this defines a geometric finite automaton before moving on to the formal description of a QFA, there are two noteworthy generalizations that should be mentioned and understood. The first is the non-deterministic finite automaton NFA. In this case, the vector Q is replaced by a vector which can have more than one entry that is non-zero. Such a vector then represents an element of the power set of Q, it's just an indicator function on Q likewise, the state transition matrices U alpha display style u underscore alpha are defined in such a way that a given column can have several non-zero entries in it equivalently the multiply add operations performed during component wise matrix multiplication should be replaced by boolean and or operations that is so that one is working with a ring of characteristic 2 a well known theorem states that for each dfa there is an equivalent nfa and vice versa this implies that the set of languages that can be recognized by DFAs and NFAs are the same, these are the regular languages. In the generalization to QFAs, the set of recognized languages will be different. Describing that set as one of the outstanding research problems in QFA theory. Another generalization that should be immediately apparent is to use a stochastic matrix for the transition matrices, and a probability vector for the state, this gives a probabilistic finite automaton. The entries in the state vector must be real numbers, positive, and sum to 1, in order for the state vector to be interpreted as a probability. The transition matrices must preserve this property, this is why they must be stochastic. Each state vector should be imagined as specifying a point in a simplex, thus, this is a topological automaton, with the simplex being the manifold, and the stochastic matrices being linear automorphisms of the simplex onto itself. Since each transition is essentially independent of the previous if we disregard the distinction between accepted and rejected languages, the PFA essentially becomes a kind of Markov chain. By contrast, in a QFA, the manifold is complex projective space C P N and the transition matrices are unitary matrices. Each point in C P N display style math B C P caret N corresponds to a quantum mechanical probability amplitude or pure state. The unitary matrices can be thought of as governing the time evolution of the system, viz. in the Schrödinger picture. The generalization from pure states to mixed states should be straightforward. A mixed state is simply a measure theoretic probability distribution on C P n display style math b c p caret n a worthy point to contemplate is the distributions that result on the manifold during the input of a language in order for an automaton to be efficient in recognizing a language that distribution should be as uniform as possible this need for uniformity is the underlying principle behind maximum entropy methods these simply guarantee crisp compact operation of the automaton 
Put in other words, the machine learning methods used to train hidden Markov models generalize to QFAs as well, the Viterbi algorithm and the forward-backward algorithm generalize readily to the QFA. Although the study of QFA was popularized in the work of Condax and Watrous in 1997 and later by Moore and Crutchfeld, they were described as early as 1971, by Ion Topic. Measure once automata Measure once automata were introduced by Chris Moore and James P. Crutchfield. They may be defined formally as follows. As with an ordinary finite automaton, the quantum automaton is considered to have n possible internal states, represented in this case by an n State qubit psi display style psi wrangle. More precisely, the n display style n state qubit psi element of c p n display style psi wrangle in math b c p caret n is an element of n display style n dimensional complex projective space carrying an inner product display style vert cdot vert that is the fubini study metric the state transitions transition matrices or de bruijn graphs are represented by a collection of n times n display style n times n unitary matrices u alpha Display style u underscore alpha with one unitary matrix for each letter alpha element of sigma display style alpha in sigma that is given an input letter alpha display style alpha the unitary matrix describes the transition of the automaton from its current state psi display style psi wrangle to its next state psi display style psi caret prime wrangle psi equals u alpha psi display style psi caret prime wrangle equals u underscore alpha psi wrangle thus the triple c p n sigma u alpha alpha element of sigma display style math b c p caret n sigma u underscore alpha vert alpha in sigma form a quantum semiautomaton the accept state of the automaton is given by an n times n display style n times n projection matrix p display style p so that given a n display style n dimensional quantum state psi display style psi wrangle the probability of psi display style psi wrangle being in the accept state is psi p psi equals p psi 2 display style wrangle psi p psi wrangle equals vert p psi wrangle vert caret 2 the probability of the state machine accepting a given finite input string sigma equals sigma 0 sigma 1 sigma k Display style sigma equals sigma underscore zero sigma underscore one c d o t s sigma underscore k is given by p r sigma equals p u sigma k u sigma one u sigma zero psi 
Display style operator name PR sigma equals vert pu underscore sigma underscore K C D O T S U underscore sigma underscore one U underscore sigma underscore zero psi wrangle vert carrot two Here the vector psi Display style psi wrangle is understood to represent the initial state of the automaton, that is, the state the automaton was in before it started accepting the string input. The empty string is understood to be just the unit matrix, so that PR equals P psi 2 Display style operator name PR varnothing equals vert P psi wrangle vert caret 2 is just the probability of the initial state being an accepted state. Because the left action of U alpha display style U underscore alpha on psi display style psi wrangle reverses the order of the letters in the string sigma display style sigma it is not uncommon for QFAs to be defined using a right action on the Hermitian transpose states, simply in order to keep the order of the letters the same. A regular language is accepted with probability p by a quantum finite automaton, if, for all sentences sigma in the language, and a given, fixed initial state, psi wrangle, one has p p r sigma p. Topic example. Consider the classical deterministic finite automaton given by the state transition table. The quantum state is a vector in bracket notation. Psi equals a one s one plus a two s two equals a 1 a 2 display style psi wrangle equals a underscore 1 s underscore 1 wrangle plus a underscore 2 s underscore 2 wrangle equals begin b matrix a underscore 1 a underscore 2 end b matrix with the complex numbers a 1 a 2 Display style a underscore one a underscore two normalized so that a one a two a one a two equals a one a one plus a two a two equals one display style begin b matrix a underscore one caret asterisk a underscore two caret asterisk end b matrix begin b matrix a underscore one a underscore two end b matrix equals a underscore one caret asterisk a underscore one plus a underscore two caret asterisk a underscore two equals one. The unitary transition matrices are u zero. Equals O one one O display style U underscore zero equals begin B matrix zero and one one and zero end B matrix and U one equals one O O one display style U underscore one equals begin B matrix one and zero zero and one end B matrix taking S one display style S underscore one to be the accept state the projection matrix as P equals one O O O Display style p equals begin b matrix one and zero zero and zero end b matrix as should be readily apparent if the initial state is the pure state s one display style s underscore one wrangle or s two display style s underscore two wrangle then the result of running the machine will be exactly identical to the classical deterministic finite state machine. In particular, there is a language accepted by this automaton with probability 1, for these initial states, and it is identical to the regular language for the classical DFA, and is given by the regular expression, 1 0 1 0 display style 1 caret asterisk 0 1 caret asterisk 0 caret asterisk caret asterisk the non-classical behavior occurs if both a 1 display style a underscore 1 and a 2 display style a underscore 2 are non-zero. 
More subtle behavior occurs when the matrices U0 U0 and U1 are not so simple. See, for example, the de Rham curve is an example of a quantum finite state machine acting on the set of all possible finite binary strings. <laughs> Measure many automata Measure many automata were introduced by Condax and Watrous in 1997. The general framework resembles that of the measure once automaton, except that instead of there being one projection, at the end, there is a projection, or quantum measurement, performed after each letter is read. A formal definition follows. The Hilbert space H Q display style math call H underscore Q is decomposed into three orthogonal subspaces H Q equals H except H reject H non halting display style math call H underscore Q equals math call H underscore text except O plus math call H underscore text reject O plus math call H underscore text non halting in the literature, these orthogonal subspaces are usually formulated in terms of the set Q Q of orthogonal basis vectors for the Hilbert space H Q math call H underscore Q. This set of basis vectors is divided up into subsets Q ACC Q Display style Q underscore text ACC subset Q and Q REJ Q display style Q underscore text REJ subset Q such that H except equals span Q Q element of Q ACC Display style math call h underscore text except equals operator name span q wrangle q wrangle in q underscore text acc is the linear span of the basis vectors in the except set. The reject space is defined analogously, and the remaining space is designated the non-halting subspace. There are three projection matrices p acc display style p underscore text acc P R E J Display style P underscore text R E J and P non Display style P underscore text non each projecting to the respective subspace P A C C H Q H except Display style p underscore text acc math call h underscore q to math call h underscore text except and so on. The parsing of the input string proceeds as follows. Consider the automaton to be in a state psi display style psi wrangle. After reading an input letter alpha display style alpha, the automaton will be in the state psi equals u alpha psi display style psi caret prime wrangle equals u underscore alpha psi wrangle at this point a measurement is performed on the state psi display style psi caret prime wrangle using the projection operators p display style p at which time its wave function collapses into one of the three subspaces h except display style math call h underscore text except or h reject display style math call h underscore text reject or h non halting display style math call h underscore text non halting the probability of collapse is given by PR ACC Sigma equals P ACC 
psi two display style operator name pr underscore text acc sigma equals vert p underscore text acc psi caret prime wrangle vert caret two for the except subspace and analogously for the other two spaces if the wave function has collapsed to either the accept or reject subspaces then further processing halts otherwise processing continues with the next letter read from the input and applied to what must be an eigenstate of p non display style p underscore text non processing continues until the whole string is read or the machine halts often additional symbols kappa display style kappa and dollar are adjoined to the alphabet to act as the left and right end markers for the string in the literature the measure many automaton is often denoted by the tuple q sigma delta q 0 q a c c q r e j Display style q sigma delta q underscore zero q underscore text a c c q underscore text r e j. Here q display style q sigma display style sigma q a c c display style q underscore text a c c and q r e j. Display style q underscore text r e j are as defined above. The initial state is denoted by psi equals q zero. Display style psi wrangle equals q underscore zero wrangle. The unitary transformations are denoted by the map delta display style delta delta q times Sigma times Q C display style delta Q times Sigma times Q to math B C so that U alpha Q one equals Q two element of Q delta Q one alpha Q two Q two Display style U underscore alpha Q underscore one Wrangle equals sum underscore Q underscore two in Q delta Q underscore one alpha Q underscore two Q underscore two Wrangle Topic Geometric generalizations The above constructions indicate how the concept of a quantum finite automaton can be generalized to arbitrary topological spaces. For example, one may take some n-dimensional Riemann symmetric space to take the place of C P n C P n. In place of the unitary matrices, one uses the isometries of the Riemannian manifold, or, more generally, some set of open functions appropriate for the given topological space. The initial state may be taken to be a point in the space. The set of except states can be taken to be some arbitrary subset of the topological space. One then says that a formal language is accepted by this topological automaton if the point, after iteration by the homeomorphisms, intersects the except set. But, of course, this is nothing more than the standard definition of an M-automaton. The behavior of topological automata is studied in the field of topological dynamics. The quantum automaton differs from the topological automaton in that, instead of having a binary result is the iterated point in, or not in, the final set, one has a probability. The quantum probability is the square of the initial state projected onto some final state P, that is P R equals p psi 2 display style math bf pr equals vert langle p vert psi wrangle vert caret 2 but this probability amplitude is just a very simple function of the distance between the point p display style vert p wrangle 
and the point psi display style vert psi wrangle in c p n display style math b c p caret n under the distance metric given by the Fubini study metric. To recap, the quantum probability of a language being accepted can be interpreted as a metric, with the probability of accept being unity, if the metric distance between the initial and final states is zero, and otherwise the probability of accept is less than one, if the metric distance is non-zero. Thus, it follows that the quantum finite automaton is just a special case of a geometric automaton or a metric automaton, where c p n display style math b c p caret n is generalized to some metric space and the probability measure is replaced by a simple function of the metric on that space topic see also quantum markov chain equals equals notes <laughs>